Hey guys, it's me Marty. So today is day 12 of the vlog a day challenge that I have been doing and today I need to talk about people who I admire most which just like my heroes there is quite a bit. I'll get to that a little later though because I'm actually about ready to go in and see Inside Out which I have been dying to see. Don't worry, I will give you guys a review. But anyway, I will talk to you guys after the movie. So I just got out of Inside Out and let me just say that movie was awesome. Like I laughed, I cried, there were many feels to be had it was an amazing story and i just loved it and now i'm gonna go get some after movie noms and there goes the light so that's cute for me to go in and eat finally i'm back home from the movies i know the last like first parts were kind of all over the place so i'm gonna kind of start over not really because it's all still gonna be there my people i admire most and i thought about it and I think I would have three that would be like top people that I admire and these are people that have inspired me to become a better person and to just do better in life and to improve myself because it's like if they you know are chasing their dream and if they are able to love what they do I, I can do that too. So my first one has to be Sir Paul McCartney which actually today is his birthday so happy birthday Sir Paul if you happen to be watching this which is so unlikely it's unbelievable but in case some magical way you are happy birthday he has been one of my greatest heroes for a long time and always such a huge inspiration to me somebody gave me a dvd of his concert performance on live in new york city i'm not sure if any of you guys have seen it but every time i watch it, i'm just taken aback by like when he just he when he does the things and he just stops and has to just take in the crowd and you can tell like he after even doing music for what 40 50 years now he still just loves it it's still his favorite thing to do he is loving every minute of it he doesn't he's not like some people who are like oh i'm just doing this for the check or it's a drag like you could tell by you know the way he acts his smile like he sincerely loves what he is doing and that has always been something that i admire greatly just because uh, he chased his dream he wanted to do music and he was turned down by record producers well him and the beatles were turned down and told you guys will never make it and look at him now i'm pretty sure you can't walk up to anybody and be like hey have you ever heard of the beatles and they'd be like uh no because Everybody knows who the Beatles are, and at one point in time, they were told they suck. So that, that is one huge, huge, huge thing that I admire is just the fact that they never let any, you know negative things turn take them down. Like for me, I'm not letting when people are attacking me with dislike bots. I'm not letting that stop me. I'm not letting that be like, well, there's people out there attacking me, trying to make me feel bad and doing this. I'm gonna stop. No, I'm like, I don't care. And I mean, that's something that I think I have learned. Well, just through life and that, just the stories of like the Beatles and stuff like that, because I love the band and specifically Paul McCartney he is my favorite of the Beatles and then how yeah, he just continued on another one which goes more along with this and I've mentioned him before also is Tyler Oakley he I actually did not discover until I started vlogging I want I wanted the vlog because of Shane Dawson he's the reason why I made my very first video way way back in 2000 and 11 12 I don't remember it was so many years ago but it was horrible but he is the, I started watching him and was like, that looks like lots of fun. I want to do that. And everybody knows the story. You've seen it. I posted a video and didn't get any farther than that. <laughs> but Tyler Oakley, I started watching him and I just fell in love with his style, which again, I have mentioned that I kind of emulated. I fell in love with just the way he loves what he's doing, how he is just still very humble about it, how he's not like some youtube stars who are now like well like, i actually don't know many that are that's, that are all proud and like yeah i'm a famous youtube star or whatever how he's still humble and taken aback every time you know people like really applaud him even though he's like one of them i think one of the most popular ones and i just really admire his drive to do it and his love for what he does i mean if you haven't figured out i'm somebody who admires people who chase their dreams that are doing something that they love and that's something that i've always wanted to do i don't want to be somebody who just does a job just so I have a check coming in and out. I want to be somebody who is doing something that I don't even consider a job. I'm doing it because it's fun. Like I posted on my Twitter a few days ago and I told a friend, honestly, this vlogging every day along with my work schedule is really, really taking a toll on me because I would be waking up for work, going in at like leaving the house at 1230, working from one o'clock to 10, coming home and either finishing recording my video and whatnot, then editing it, which I'd be up until like 12 or so, waking up at nine, 
so I could upload it, annotate it, try and eat, and you know, start getting ready for my next video, and then going to work. So I, would, I have been getting very little sleep, but I told my friend, I'm like, going to work is something I have to do. I have no choice. If I don't go to work, I won't have money to support myself. But this, I could cut it out if I wanted to, but I enjoy it that much that I'm not going to. Sure, it's taking a toll on me and really, really making me tired, but I am not going to let that stop me from pursuing this dream of mine because, I mean, a lot of times, the few people I tell that are not, who don't understand this, when I'm like, oh, you know, I wanna, you know, become popular while on YouTube or just be able to make videos because I'm enjoying this and I think so far in this challenge I've become a whole lot more open and better at talking to the camera now and stuff like that. And sometimes they roll their eyes at me because they're like, oh wow. I know it's not the highest aspiration in the world, but it's something that I love doing and who cares if I don't accomplish super, super great things if I'm able to do what I dream. That's what matters. I mean, if your highest aspiration is to be a bus driver who drives a Greyhound across the country, go and do that. Who cares how high of a goal it is? If you're gonna be happy doing it, go out and fucking do it. <laughs> anyway, I kind of got off on a rant there. I have one more person who I admire greatly. This is a person I actually know, and that is Katie. And yeah, I know it's weird. Oh, I admire my girlfriend. And I mean, obviously, I mean, I do. I'll admit it, I don't find it weird. Uh, I admire her though because of her drive and her love and passion for her writing and her painting, which is something that has made me come to understand that sure, people might talk shit on what you wanna do with your life and people might be like, well, that's a waste of time to invest in that, that's a waste of money. And she has pretty much her whole life been like, I don't care. I love doing this. I don't care if it's not gonna pay a lot. I will be happy doing what I'm doing and that is what matters. I will have a happy life doing what I love. And that that has inspired me so much. I mean, it's taken me a long time to get to that point because like, I let these slide because it was like, well, I need to make money and that's something I need to focus on more. And I would focus on that. And now it's like, I'm focusing as much as I can on here. I've actually stopped a lot of my other extracurricular activities, playing games. I'm behind on Orange is the New Black, and last year when that came out, I finished up the new season within a day. And that has been out for a week, and I still have not finished it yet because I've been so focused on making sure that I continue with doing this and trying to get better with editing and talking and all that other stuff. But yes, her passion and drive to continue doing what she loved and not caring what other people say inspires me so much. That and her resilience and willing to be like, hey, I was given, you know, kind of bad cards when it comes to life, when it, you know, with her true apologies and stuff like that. But instead of letting that tear her down and weigh her down and be like, well, this happened, I guess there's no point in whatever. She's just like, I'm not gonna let that hold me back. And that is also something that I just, I admire greatly is her ability to not let things hold her back where a lot of people would be like, well, I give up in life. It's not fair, life isn't fair, life sucks, and I give up. It's such an admirable thing. <laughs> anyway, that's all for that part, though I do want to talk about the movie real quick, even though this video is going kind of long, but I'm sure some of you guys want to hear about it. Inside Out is like, I, I, when I, as soon as I saw the first preview, I was like, this is going to be a movie that is probably going to be one of my favorite Disney Pixar movies, and it definitely was. Like, most of the reviewer, reviews that I have read online about it are spot on. You are going to laugh your ass off, but then you are going to cry. They do so good with it, and it's very, very, very relatable if you've ever dealt with any type of issues in life, like it, which everybody has. So you can watch that and relate greatly to what's going on in the story. So if you have, I mean, obviously you haven't seen it, it just came out, well, it technically comes out tomorrow. I'm not sure why our theater was showing it today, but I got lucky, you got to see it, because I work tomorrow. But it was so worth the watch, and I have definitely, definitely, definitely recommend going to see it because it makes you laugh, it makes you cry, you feel connected, and it's just a good movie. Great story, and it's just great. <laughs> All right, well, that's enough for now. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and share it to your friends. If you're new to the channel, why not check out the playlist of the other days and get caught up. I'll have a link in the description or the card section somewhere over in that journal area. Also be sure to go ahead and subscribe, which should be like, there should be a button right there. So hit subscribe so you stay caught up then on all my newest videos. I'm catching up to the end of this and then from then on, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, and also check out me, all my social media stuff down in the description bar below. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching, bye. So, 
Hey, guys. Yeah. <laughs>